What's up guys? It's Friday and so you know what time it is. It's time for What the Fitness. Let's get them. Today we're talking about sugar again and we have our friend Dr. Mark Hyman back on the show and he's with somebody else named Peter Diamandis. All right, let's see what they have to say. When you eat sugar, what happens? It slows your metabolism down and it increases hunger hormones. So you're hungrier, you're gaining weight, you can't burn the fat and your metabolism is slower. So you basically have a fire in your belly spewing out all this inflammation. Males, their testosterone drops way down, their sex drive and function goes down. Women get all kinds of other hormonal dysregulation. Literally shrinkage of your hippocampus, which is the memory center. It's just bad news. It's minimize. Okay, so we're just going to stop it right there. So one, there's absolutely no evidence that sugar slows down your metabolism. None, zero zilch. Two, it doesn't really raise hunger hormones either. What I will say is that sugar compared to non-sugar carbohydrate in general doesn't have the same effect on satiety, but it doesn't raise hunger hormones that I've seen any research that I'm aware of. As far as it increasing inflammation, sugar only increases inflammation insofar as people overconsume it gain weight and the gaining weight is what increases inflammation because adipose tissue secretes adipokines which are pro-inflammatory. But sugar in and of itself without the context of a calorie surplus does not increase inflammation and there's no evidence of that. As far as dropping testosterone, once again, if people become obese, that can reduce testosterone, but there's no evidence that sugar without a caloric surplus decreases testosterone. So this whole like, fire in your belly. There's just, just no evidence for this. Now, I am not saying that people should consume sugar, but we have numerous studies, meta-analyses, where calories are controlled and equated between groups, but they vary the amounts of sugar, and they don't see what these guys are talking about in this video. It just doesn't happen. Sugar and maximize exercise, which everybody knows already. Yeah, you can take all these supplements, take all the stem cells you want, but if you don't have the basics right, it totally screws you up. I actually agree with them here. Most people look for easy ways to do things rather than just exercising and eating right. And I think a low sugar diet can be part of eating right. But we gotta be very careful because things like fruit have sugar in them and fruit is actually very healthy for you and people who eat more fruit tend to have lower amounts of adipose tissue when we look at the research studies. And fruit, because it has fiber with the sugar, tends to actually have a better effect on satiety. It's not the sugar, it's that people who eat a lot of sugar are usually getting it from high amounts of ultra-processed, hyper-palatable foods, which makes it easy to overconsume what, da da da, -da calories. I know it's unpopular, I think it's like people feel judgment about like saying they eat too much when they can say, well, you eat too much sugar, but how is one less shaming than the other? I mean, one is saying you're eating too much energy. The other is saying you're eating too much sugar. I'm not sure how one is less shaming than the other, but somehow people have felt that telling people that they eat too many calories is somehow fat shaming. I'm not saying people are gluttons, I'm not saying they're sloths, I'm not saying they're lazy or anything like that. I'm simply saying that obesity and the comorbidities associated with it, which were what they talked about, are due to an imbalance of energy. Now some people, that imbalance can be created at still a relatively low calorie intake because they don't have a high degree of energy expenditure. So I'm not saying that somebody's lazy because they're obese. I'm simply saying that for their given level of energy expenditure, they consume too many calories. All right, guys, if you liked the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you next week.